This presentation is part of a series for trainers and incoming solar installers. It runs for about five minutes as intended as a general overview and pausing and rewatching is encouraged. This particular presentation is on the Clean Energy Council's solar accreditation website. I'm going to quickly walk you through the website and address a few of the most commonly asked questions we received regarding its navigation and content. First up, you need to ensure that you are on the correct website, which should look something like the one currently on the screen. Note the web address solaraccreditation.com.au. All the information you need as an installer will be here. The link to the login page is circled in the top right hand corner. When you click on the installer login link, you arrive at the login page. Enter the email address you have registered with the Clean Energy Council, then enter your password. If you have forgotten your password, click the Reset Password link on the left-hand side of the screen. A new one will then be emailed out to you. And just as a reference, these are the same login details you'll need to use the Testing and Commissioning Checklist smartphone app that is available for download. This is the welcome page you will see after logging in. Note that you can immediately review your accreditation details, including number and expiry date. You can also view your accrued demerit points and continuous professional development points. This video also demonstrates other ways of reviewing your demerit points and CPD points. Now, let's step through some of the important links on this website. You can view how many continuous professional development points, or CPD, you have accrued. This is the same link you use to upload any training certificates for courses you have completed. To add a course result to accrue CPD points, simply enter the course name, select the course from the drop-down box, and upload a copy of the training certificate. And continuing with CPD for the moment, the list of eligible courses is not in the installer login area. If you're looking for available courses, just go to the public solar accreditation homepage and click installers and then select continuous professional development and training and courses. From here, you'll see the course name, provider, points, etc. Note that you can sort courses based on the headings. For example, if you wanted to find online courses, simply click on location and navigate your way to those courses. This also applies to searching based on courses in your state. Returning to the installer login area, underneath the training results section we looked at earlier is the link to demerit point information where you can see allocated demerit points. In this example, the installer has not accrued any demerit points. The next few sections provide an overview of the tools and information we have available. Here, we have the online system performance estimator. This is where you fill in the details of a PV system and it returns monthly output data. PDF printouts can be created and submitted to your customer also. This is one of the obligations of an accredited person. Before your first use of the estimator, you may wish to view the help video found on the same page as the estimator, which explains how to input the data. Here's a closer look at some of the input and output data. Here's an image of the energy output graphically represented. Note that you can print a record for yourself and your customer. Next up, we have the Solar Checklist app. Again, there is a dedicated video on how to install and use this smartphone app. For this video, the key thing to know is that you must perform testing and commissioning of all your installed PV systems, as you would with any other electrical work. And note that there is a free smartphone app that means you can do it easily and in accordance with Australian Standard 5033. When you submit the data from your testing and commissioning smartphone app, a report will be delivered to the installations section of your installer login area. 
You must supply a copy of the system's testing and commissioning to the system owner as per Australian Standard 5033. By accessing this page, you can easily, and at no cost, print a report in a professional format. As an accredited person, you'll receive regular industry and trade relevant emails. Copies of these emails can be found in the Installer News section. And finally, we have the Technical Information section, where you will find our past webinars and presentations, as well as technical fact sheets. Here's a quick example of some existing presentations. And here's a list of existing fact sheets. You might, for example, click through the PV Array Row Spacing link. The PV Spacing Guide provides guidance on how modules on tilt frames can be prevented from shading those behind them. And last of all, be aware that if you wish to claim Small Scale Technology Certificates, or STCs, you must only install CEC approved PV modules and inverters. To find such lists, refer to the product section on the screen. Note that you do not have to log into the installer area to access this section. By only installing products on the approved lists, you can be confident that your components meet the relevant requirements as set out in the applicable standards. As stated, this is a basic requirement for creating STCs and also a requirement of state electrical safety acts. For example, when installing modules on a building, you must ensure they meet fire class C. If you install a module from the PV module list on the screen, you have the confidence in knowing that you are complying with the requirements set out by the Clean Energy Council, Clean Energy Regulator and the Electrical Safety Regulator. As always, if you have any questions, you can email us or call us using the details on the screen. Thank you for listening.